Good evening. Welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and tonight uh, I'm with Elisma, Charmaine, and Hannah. Uh, uh, we here ready to minister to you. So if you would like to receive prophetic ministry, please write your name in the comments, and we would love to minister the word of the Lord uh, to you. Uh, if you have a complicated name, please add in brackets the uh, male or female. You know, sometimes we get a little confused, but uh, we still love you, and Jesus still loves you if we get confused. So I want to quickly go over our prophetic protocol. Uh, the The main protocol that we follow is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3. It says, when you prophesy, the word must edify, exhort, and comfort. And then uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 29, it says, let two or three prophesy, and then let that word be judged. So it is your responsibility to Pray about that word, uh, to listen to the Holy Spirit, to compare the word to what the, the scripture and the Bible say, and to make sure that you judge that prophetic word uh, that is released. And, uh, you know, uh, one of the ways we judge the word is we actually go to the Lord and we ask the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do? What is your part and what's my part? And the scripture it says there that we are co-laborers with Christ. That means we work with Him. And he works with us. And so uh, that's uh, that's the process that we're going to follow. Now, um, that's my protocol. Also, please write the word out uh, and pray about it. You know, Paul said, war with the word that you have received. Um, when we prophesy, we minister to people that are actually live listening to the word. So if you're not here live listening, uh, you can't write someone else's name that's not here uh, uh, for us to minister to, I don't think it's good ministers to minister to someone if they haven't given us their permission, and so that's why I have that rule. Okay, also, uh, we're going to minister to 20 people tonight, so about the first 20 people that write their names in the comments, they are the people that's going to receive uh, uh, a, a word, but uh, Johan, he goes through the words, he's our administrator, and he will decide you know if you see someone come on very regularly and there's a new person you will definitely give the new person a chance first uh, but i want to encourage you please stay in also i think it's a great idea to get a, a a piece of paper and a pen and listen to all the prophetic words and write it down as they come out because there's always a component of corporate prophetic ministry that comes through all these personal words that we give to people you know the lord is not a respecter of persons sometimes you uh, the word would go maybe to shannon uh, but while the word is ministering uh, ministered to shannon then the holy spirit will say to you but that's also what i'm saying to you and so write it down pray about it i also would like to see a lot of comments the way we connect to one another is through comments and the way we open up a gate to heaven and the glory of god is by loving each other and by loving God. And so when we start to comment, what we're actually doing is we're loving each other. So it's good to greet each other and to say amen and to, you know, if the Lord says something that you believe the Lord is giving to you, say yes, the Lord is also giving this or that thing to me. If you see we are ministering to Shannon, you can also uh, um, pray and ask the Lord if you receive a word and then he can write that down in the comments. Okay, so that's, that's my uh, protocols and my administration uh, for tonight. Okay, so I see uh, Lorna already have a name and Gaspard. Uh, Johan is making us a list on the site. Um, uh, when you go on a YouTube video, you'll see there's a place where you can like our video. Um, so you can do that also if you'd like to. Amy always asks for that. So I might as well. Here comes a little ad. Okay, let me see. I'm just quickly logging in i'm not logged in myself okay i'll sit here hello uh layla thank you for your gift and your offering you are amazing thank you for that all right guys if you want to give layla showed you how to do it you press on the button and you can give if you want to okay so i'm going to start uh, lorna uh, uh um the the lord shows me how he puts his hand upon your shoulders and how he uh, uh, puts authority, he puts government on you and he says to you that you have to take courage. 
He doesn't want you to be fearful or to be scared because this is a time to be brave and to move forward into what he has for your life. The old season is over, everything has changed. And just like the Israelites, when they were in the desert, they always got the manna and they got uh, that uh, quails. Uh, but they went, when they went over the, the Jordan River, then that supply stopped and there was a new supply for them in a promised land. And in the same way, I believe that the Lord says, you are moving now into a new season, into a promised land, and there's a new supply that is given to you. And that's why he's releasing this government on your shoulders in, uh, I think it is in Isaiah chapter 11. It talks there about the government of God that was on Jesus' shoulders. And I believe that the Lord says he's giving you the same government. God bless you, Lorna. Um, the Lord showed me that um, I see the sunflower of your emotions and that the devil is one by one plucking out all the joyful ones that gives you happiness. But, but um, the Lord showed me that he is going to put them all back and the sunflower is going to be filled with happiness. God bless. Hi Lorna, God loves you so much. So I see God showed me the, uh, this picture of a, a tree. And then I got mm -hmm. like, um, I saw the, how the, tron the, the branches of the tree kept on growing. But it's like one of the branches of the tree kept on lagging. It's like it didn't grow as fast as the, the previous branches. And I felt like that's a delay. Every time you go into a new season and every time you take a new venture on or a ministry project or something, it's like the finances is lagging. It's not coming in like it's supposed to be coming in. And God is saying, my daughter, I'm going to supply for you at the right time when you need the finances and when you need a breakthrough. God is saying he's going to be there for you and he's going to supply for you and it's going to help you through every season and he's going to help with that delay in your life. Um, I just also saw how God's hand of protection and how God's hand of glory comes on you and fills you up with his holiness and his um, goodness. God loves you so much. Be blessed. I mean, the next one is for Gaspard. Gaspard, um, God is showing me that is there's something you ha you're going to have to complete. There's something, a task or a task or test or challenge that you are going through. And in this challenge, there's missing pieces. And as you stand in front of this challenge, and for a moment, you're going to doubt it, and then God is going to give you wisdom. All you need to do is ask for wisdom, and he's going to give you this wisdom. And all the tools and all the supplies and all the necessities in order to complete this task, in order to complete this challenge. And when you complete this challenge with almost like a strong faith and like a good athlete, God is going to reward you. He's going to reward you in, in your financial area in your life and he's going to reward you in your relationship areas in your life. He's going to restore broken relationships and he's going to restore broken finances into your life. Be blessed, Gaspard. All right, Gaspard, I really believe that the Lord is just affirming today your ministry call that he has upon your life. He's put his word inside of you. He's put the passion and the fire of God inside of you. And he's calling you to rise up and to, uh, to move ahead with that ministry. And I feel the Lord is giving you this word. This is a time to build and to establish. This is not a time to draw back and to watch and to see what's going to happen. But this is a time to push forward because the Lord is giving you uh, the, uh, the, 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 the victory. And the, the Lord showed me a horse like a big brown horse and the Lord said to me that horse is the move of God and is the move of that ministry and if you, are, you say yes Lord then you can climb on this horse that the, the horse that the Lord has provided for you and move forward with the kingdom building and the kingdom establishment uh, anointing that is placed upon your life. God bless you Gaspard. Hello Gaspard. The Lord has shown has shown me you and that you're going in through this wall and it's kind of like rainbows and there's a lot of colors there's red that equals happiness there's yellow that equals happiness but there's some colors that that are not very joyful and i see, see that when she, when you're walking in there that the devil is pushing you down and that he's trying to make sure you go through those dark colors but the but the Lord is um, going to 
pull you up and he and then you're going to fly up into those joyful colors. You will have an amazing life. God bless. Um, the next word is for David. David, God loves you so, so much. And he's so very proud of you. Um, David, God is saying, my son, I've placed you on this earth and I've give you, given you this awesome opportunity to spread my word and to spread my gospel but I just see how God is saying that sometimes you don't hear God's voice and I see how God is coming and he's taking the earplugs that's like blocking your blocking you from hearing when God is speaking to you and he's taking it and he's pulling it out and I see how God is talking through a microphone and I See how like you you can hear clearly when God is speaking to you. I just see how like you ask God for question you ask God questions and it's like you don't get the answers. But God is saying, my son, I'm opening your ears so that you can hear when I speak to you. And then God is showing me this picture of like a lion inside of you. And I just feel like God has placed you in a leadership role and he's given you the authority to to, to speak your, your mouth. And I feel like God is saying that he's opening your mouth as well so that you don't have to be fearful to talk God's word and you don't have to be fearful to be in an authority position. God is with you and God will always be with you. God loves you. Be blessed. I mean, next word is also for David. David, um, there's a tornado of righteousness around you. And, 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 and God says that he is going to increase this tornado. So when you move into a room, you are just going to be like a tornado that just, that just uh, you know, almost like purifies the atmosphere, that lifts the atmosphere, that sets the atmosphere. And walk in, you're going to walk in with authority. When you walk into a room, when you walk into an area, people are going to know, wow, that is God's son. Wow, that is Jesus shining through him. And you are going to... Um, you know, you definitely have a calling of evangelism upon your life. And with this, I see God's words just twirling around you and tornadoing around you. And you're going to change people's lives. You're going to change the way people think. You're going to change the way people speak. You are really going to make a difference for the kingdom of the Lord. Be blessed, David. And and uh, that. Be blessed, David. That's right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Awesome. Uh, thank you, David. Yeah, so uh, the Lord is really putting uh, the oil on your head and a crown of joy. And he loves you very, very much. And I actually see how the Lord puts a ring finger uh, on you. And that is a, a picture of the commitment that you're also making in your life, uh, in the ministry that the Lord has for your life. So the Lord's very pleased with you. God bless you, David. I look forward to receive a, a feedback message from you in the comments. The next person we're ministering to is Lucas. So, Lucas, uh, the Lord showed me uh, three foundations that is busy laying uh, in your life. And I believe that the, the Lord says this is only the beginning uh, for your business, the beginning for your ministry, and the beginning for your family. And the Lord is going to expand and grow. And if you look back in two years from now, you're not going to believe how much God has done for you and the amount of miracles that the Lord is going to do in your life. And then the Lord sh showed me a roof truss. You know, uh, these uh, roof trusses that stand uh, up, they got a bottom cord and then they got the two top cords of a truss. And the Lord said to me uh, that uh, on that, uh, there's family and there's ministry and there's business. And those are the three things that the Lord has placed in your life that's going to kind of provide that covering uh, of your roof. And then I saw all those sheets that goes on top of those trusses uh, were uh, the covering of the blood of Jesus uh, and the covenant that God has for your life. Uh, then I really felt strongly that the Lord said to me that he is going to give you a strategy and he wants you to commit to get completely out of debt. And although it's going to feel to you like you're going two steps backwards and then later on five steps forward again, the Lord says, just go through that process, get completely out of debt because the Lord is going to supernaturally start supply to you, but he doesn't want you to be in an ungodly system with your finances. He wants you to be in God's system. God bless you, Lucas. Hello, Lucas. Um, I, I saw a full-grown rose, and, the, and that's, um, it's a very good rose, but it has some thorns, and the Lord is trying to reach on to that rose, but he can't because the thorns, because thorns are very sharp. But um, 
The Lord showed me that he is going to make a plan to prick out those thorns, that he could hold you, that you will have a good relationship with him. God bless. Hi, Lucas. Uh, God loves you so much. So I just got this picture of like, um, you know, a hostel when kids are staying in a hostel. So I just saw this picture of uh, um, how there's a lot of kids in this hostel. And I just saw they, they're sitting like in a hall, um, like with tables where they're going to have lunch or where they're going to have breakfast or something like that. And I just saw how like there's lots of plates on the tables. And then, then I saw like, it's like all the plates are empty and it's like, it felt to me like God is saying, I'm going to fill that plates for you. You don't have to worry about that plates, about them getting food on. Um, you don't have to worry about that. And then I also, uh, God showed me this picture of like an or, or, or organogram. And I saw how you like on the top of that organogram. And then I, uh, God is saying, my son, speak life to the bottom, the people be, uh, below you. And I felt like when you spoke life to them, I felt like how they floated up on top as well and how you gave them authority and how you gave them life and how you uplifted them because of this life that you spoke into their lives. And then I felt um, God showed me this fire that's inside of you and this fire that's around you. And I felt like God is saying that fire inside of you and around you is going to um, burn away impurities from other people. And um, I just feel like how God's glory and how God's power is on you and how God is really, really proud of you because of what you are doing. God loves you so much. Be blessed. I mean, the next word is for Mal Lee. Mal Lee, um, God showed me this, this like a tuck shop and there's a lot of children coming and they are buying things and they're going away and they're happy and it's almost like they are, are, are trade. well, at least they're trading something and then they're getting something back and they're happy. So it's, um, you, gosh, God said that you are going to work with children if you're already not working with children and you're going to bring that happy place back into children's lives that was that you know that when when they grew up or while they were still growing up in their parents home or or when family hurt them or friends hurt them they're going to come to you and you're going to rebuild them with the word of god you're going to rebuild them with the holy spirit's love and just that filling up with with the holy spirit's fire and and water and just refreshing them and and turning their lives their lives that in, is in such a mess into something joyful you're going to help them to bring back their joy into their lives so be obedient to what god is going to show you and where he's going to you know lead you so that that can get into realization um it would be wonderful if you can write a comment maybe you're already working with children be blessed Mali. all right so uh, mel uh, the first thing that the Lord said to me, that he is opening for you supernatural supply. And uh, you are very patient to wait upon the Lord and you want to do the right thing. And I believe that what God is doing, he's setting up uh, line for line, but exactly the right way for you to bring finances into your life so that you can live and that you can do what God has called you to do. Then I saw how uh, he binds you together with his word and how you read the word, how you plant the word of God in you and how that helps you uh, when you feel like things are shaking in your life to bring that steadfastness into you. And I believe that Jesus is saying to you that I am your rock. I, I was your rock and I will be your rock uh, forever. And so as you trust in him and you lean on him and you believe his word i believe the lord is going to bring tremendous steadfastness in your life even if everything around you is shaking god bless you mel hi Melly. um I, the lord showed me that i see you and that you're on this hill and and that um and, and that the lord is going to give you the fire that you feel like you that you could jump off of that hill and that um and that's a little chilly but the lord is going to make it your heart on fire it's going to be burning and that you're going to feel happy and you're going to feel joyful god bless our next word is for erickson erickson god loves you so much 
Um, I just hear God is saying, my son, I'm co I've come to restore flow in your life. I I've, I've come to restore the flow of your ministry. I've come to restore the flow of your finances. And I've come to restore the vision, uh, your vision. And I just feel like how God is touching your eyes. And when he touched your eyes, it's like you could see the vision that God has got for you. Yes. And I just feel like how God is saying that I've got a wonderful plan for your life. And the enemy has come and he's like uh, taking away your vision. And it's taking away so much from you that you don't see the vision that God has got for you. You don't see the path that God has got for you. And I hear God is saying, I'm, I've come to restore that for you. And I just see how like God is going to come clearly and is going to show you which way to go. And he's going to come as well. And he's going to take his fire and he's going to burn away all the impurities and everything that has been hindering your life that's happened in the past that's been keeping you back. And I just feel like our God is um, taking the enemy as well and is blocking the enemy so that the enemy don't have any voice or anything um, speaking into your life that takes away from you that God has got planned for you. God loves you so much. Be blessed. Amen. Erickson, also, um, also, um, God also showed me these windows that were, that were, was, were cracked. And then God came and he went, came to put fatty around the windows and it was this beautiful clear vision that you could see so um the enemy really tried to blur your vision to steal your vision to see what god has planned for you on the other side now when you look through these beautiful new lenses these beautiful new windows that god has given you there's just you know, it's a beautiful sunset, the beautiful sunrises. You can actually, you know, you can walk further in your life because you can see so much further. It's like this vision board that God has got planned for you. And everything on this vision board, you can actually pinpoint and it will happen because God turns everything for the good for those who love Him. And your heart is in the Father's heart and your heart follows what God says you have to do. So in that, the pure in heart will see God, will experience God, will know the Father, and the Father will know you. You will know His voice, and, and you will understand. When God says something, you will say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So just keep on listening to God the Father, and walk in obedience into your calling, and because God has got amazing things planned for your life. Be blessed, Erickson. Hey, Erickson. Uh, God is really giving you favor in this day and uh, don't be negative or uh, feel, uh, you know, discouraged. Uh, the Lord has a good plan and a good future for your life. And it's necessary for you to just put on some loud music and just dance a little bit and just get some excitement uh, in your life because the Lord is good and he's going to do good things for you. God bless you, Erickson. All right, so the next, okay, this, let's just quickly... Uh, say yeah about the comments i see there's a lot of comments a lot of people that are asking very, very no nicely to get their names uh, uh on the list uh I'm, i will ask you on here uh, you already got all 20 people scheduled do you have still a spot or two left there uh, okay maybe you can did you get uh dawn lindstrom in there okay all right dawn i saw your name here um, okay, uh, there's a lot of people that came in after we already scheduled our 20 people. Uh, so guys, what we do, we start uh, 7 o'clock on a Monday and we start quarter to 8 on a Friday. So you just have to make sure that you're in time so that you can get your name in. If you're a little bit late, uh, it's always a problem then because we only scheduled 20 people. And, you know, many times uh, the names keeps on going. And then if you add it all up, we get about 16 names that people write down there. So we don't always have a spot for every single person. All right. uh, but uh, thank you very much for the comments. Um, it, it's, it's amazing uh, to see uh, all of you guys communicating with each other. I want to encourage you, when we start to minister, for instance, we're going to start to minister to true love. Listen to what God is saying. Pray, pray for her. And then uh, if, if the Lord puts something on your heart, you can uh, release that. Also, get your uh, notepad out. And if the Lord speaks to you, through a word that we deliver. Write it down. Remember, the Lord is not a respecter of persons. Um, he might give a word to true love, but he'll give a word uh, to you also. All right, true love, this is what the Lord says to you. Uh, daughter, uh, I am restoring communication uh, in your life. 
and I felt that that some of the relationships were breaking down, uh, but the Lord is giving you favor. You don't have to fear. Just keep on trusting the Lord. Keep on forgiving and loving, and you're going to see how the Lord is going to bring complete restoration. Then the Lord showed to me that He's connecting you uh, with new technology. He's going to put you in a place where you can learn, where you can be educated, so you can function properly in the, the plan that He has for your life. And so I just believe that the Lord says, this is a time just to bring your anxiety down just a little bit and just go into the rest of the Lord and trust in Him. And the Lord says, He will take care of you financially and your relationships, even with your physical health. Uh, the Lord's hand is upon you. God bless you, true love. Hi, true love. The Lord showed me that, um, you're, that you're putting your swim costume on and you're going into the this water and um and this water is kind of like your happy emotions and you feel so happy to be in there but i see the devil and he's putting more dirt in there and yucky stuff and that but and then that brings you to go out of your happy place and forces you to go into this other water but um but the lord is going to, to um release that water out and he's going to put fresh water so it's so clear to see what you have to do and that um and and i'm very excited for you when you feel this feeling god bless you uh hi true love god loves you so much um i saw this vision that god showed me of how god is saying my my uh, my my child please bring your bring your vessels Go and borrow vessels from your neighbors. Go out to the town and borrow vessels so that I can give you, um, take that vessels and I can overflow them with oil for you. And I just feel how God is saying, I'm going to give you favor. I'm going to give you what you need for finances, for ministry, for your family. Everything that you need, God is going to give you favor. And I just saw how God act, is activating a river inside of you, um, in your ministry, in your house, in your finances. That river is going to flow from your house, from you to other people. And I see how God comes and He restores love in your in your house. And I see how God puts a light on your house and how people come to your, to your house and how God used your house and your family to restore relationships and to restore people that were broken. And I just uh, feel like God is saying, my, uh, my child, I'm going to build you up with favor, with love. I'm going to restore inside of you the love and the hurt that people has um, given you. And I'm going to um, make you new and I'm going to make you fresh. And I'm anointing you with my favor and my love and my glory. And God loves you so much. Be blessed. Uh, and the next word is for Victoria. Victoria, um, God showed me this beautiful banquet of flowers and you are just standing in the middle of this and you you are experiencing all the fragrances and all the, the you know the love that God wants you to experience that love and and I see um you know God showed me how how you are um black and white and gray and then when you stand in this flowers when you breathe it in you become so colorful you're breathing in these flowers you're breathing in the fragrance and the colors of the flowers just go inside of you and it starts shining out and you become colorful so um god is going to restore your joy he's going to restore everything that you feel in your life that the enemies tried to steal from you god is going to restore that god is going to give you back joy he's going to give you back flavor and fragrance and he's just going to give you back that yes in the mornings when you wake up you're going to say this is the day the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it it's a new day with new things and with so much opportunities that god has replaced before you um be blessed victoria okay awesome thank you victoria uh the lord just showed me uh, that uh, you were dealing with a lot of stuff that came from your past and even from your bloodline. But how the Lord is helping you to cleanse your entire bloodline. And I felt that the Lord says, even in a natural, uh, there's some legal issues, uh, that you, the challenges that you're facing. Uh, but the Lord uh, puts uh, anointing on you to win and overcome legal issues. And so, uh, I don't know if you know much about going into the courts of heaven, but I really see how Jesus is just inviting you to come to his throne 
And as you repent of uh, all the things that happened, then the Lord washes you completely clean and he releases new mandates and documents uh, to you. And I believe there is a, a scroll, uh, there is a, a document that the Lord has for you. He's got a very important mission and a purpose for your life. But he wants you to come to his throne, uh, surrender your life, uh, lay down your old cloak that you're carrying on your life that says, well, you know, at least I have something. And just humble yourself before him and then uh, the Lord will uh, put his cloak that he has for you. He'll put his crown, he will put his uh, ring on your finger and he'll accept you uh, just like you are mm. and, and make you ready to move forward. Uh, I believe that if, you, if you're not going to go through this process to humble yourself in, 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 in front of God's throne, then you're going to be stuck. And the Lord is out, wants to help you to get unstuck so that you can move forward into the blessing and into the purpose that he has for your life. God bless you, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. Um, the Lord shows, shows me that, that I see you and that, um, that you're in this town and the town really likes tea. And right, and um, yeah, that um, the Lord is going to help you a lot with um, your relationship with Him. That you're the person that's filled with sugar, and um, and that's very sweet, and helps everybody to also have a relationship. And the town really likes tea, so when they want their tea to be a little sweeter, they go to you for to advice, and that you're and that you're going to help your town, and and um. Yeah, the Lord is going to help you get a better relationship with Him. God be blessed. Our next word is for Cindy. Uh, Cindy, God loves you so much. Um, I just saw this picture that God showed me, how you're like working in this land and you're preparing the land. You're plowing it. Uh, you're taking out all the weeds. Um, you're fertilizing the land. And then eventually it comes to where you have to like put seeds in the land. And I just feel like, or I just saw this picture, like every time you put seeds in, I see how like the birds come and they take all the seeds and then eventually it's like you don't have a crop coming up because all the seeds were like removed from your land. And I just feel like how you get this um, how you get so discouraged because of this, because of the enemy, because of this bird each and every time coming and taking the seeds from your land and you never ever see this crop. And I just feel like God is saying, um, my daughter, you like worked so hard to get this land, uh, to get this crop from this land. And you make all the plans to to how to like fertilize the land and get the land ready and to sow the seeds. And after all this hard work, it doesn't work out. And I feel like God is saying, my, my daughter, come to me. I can help you and I can help you with making a plan. I can show you the way to go. And I want you to ask me for direction. I want you to ask me what am I, what are you supposed to do? I feel like God is saying that you need to make him number one. You need to first go to him and you need to first ask him the direction that you need to take. I see this watch that God is showing me and I feel like God is saying that you need to make time during the day to spend time with God because God is going to encourage you. God is going to give you plans and God is going to give you a vision. Uh, I, God is saying that you need to spend time with him and you need to 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 come to him with each and every decision that you need to make because he wants to invest in you and because of this he wants you to spend time with him god loves you so much be blessed i mean cindy god is going to change your atmosphere there where you feel treasured there where you feel like you're under pressure with you it's almost like a cooker a pressure cooker that you are just feeling that you're gonna explode overwhelming emotions everywhere everything is too much you're irritated you you just feel that it's just too much god is going to come he's going to put a like a like a supernatural holy spirit fan over your head and he's going to cool you down in these moments that you feel that you are going to explode you just breathe you look up and you just feel you just feel that wind from the Holy Spirit and you just feel how it's cooling you down before you say anything before you do anything you just fill yourself with the Holy Spirit 
Fill yourself with the Holy Spirit. The Word says in Acts that they continually were filled with the Holy Spirit. We need to continually be filled with the Holy Spirit daily, daily, because the world comes and it tries to take it away from us and it tries to empty us. But you just look up. You focus on God. You focus on your faith. And God will help you to go through these situations so that you don't have to feel shame afterwards, so that you don't have to feel, oh no, this is what I did, or, or what, what, what. God is going to help you through every situation. You just hold on to Him, and you just keep on filling it with the Holy Spirit. Be blessed, be blessed. Hey, awesome. Thank you, um, uh, Cindy. Uh, God's hand is upon you, and there's a wonderful word that you have received. I want to encourage each one as you receive your word, Go back, listen to it again, get your paper, write down the word, and then pray about it. I, what I do, I get scriptures for each line, because, you know, uh, in a mouth of two or three, something shall be established. And so, therefore, you want the Holy Spirit to agree, you want the word of God to agree, and then the prophetic word. So, it can be established, and then I decree it over my life. So, you got a, you got a homework to do. you got a lot of the things that you can do with this prophetic word. Um, so I just want to comment on one or two uh, of the people. Uh, Heather, uh, thank you for being here tonight. I really appreciate the fact that you sit there and you intercede for the different ones that we prophesied to and that you also uh, release uh, encouragement and word to them. Uh, so uh, I see uh, True Love and Vicky. They just say thank you to Hannah also for the word. Um, so uh, this who is Hannah. So I have five daughters and Hannah is my fourth daughter and now 10, 10 years uh, the other day she's 10 years old eh? yeah and so uh, she said to us that she would like to this is actually her first night here prophesying with us she said to me she'd like to uh, come and sit here and minister a little bit with us so uh, um, you know we said to her just whatever is in your heart what the Holy Spirit is showing to you you can just share that all right so um, the next person I'm going to start to minister to is Lisa all right, so Lisa, the Lord showed me that you are creative. He's created, He's made you to be creative, and there's art inside of you, and He's going to raise you up in prophetic art. In other words, not only to bring the creativity of God through your life, but also to get words from Him, visions from Him, and then to put that over into art and to express what the Lord is saying to you, to your family, and to your church, and, and your reason. Uh, but I felt that the Lord says sometimes you're trying to make things complicated in your life, but the Lord has called you to live a simple life. He's not, not going to call you to do 20 things and to be extremely busy. He's going to uh, teach you how to pace yourself and focus on those things that is on the heart of God. I also felt that the Lord says every single thing that you do, do it with excellence and do it with love. And uh, that, you know, uh, doing things for other people with love is something that you've been doing for a long time in your life. But I just felt that the Lord says He is putting His Holy Spirit in you and He's putting His love uh, in you. And, you know, uh, the scripture talks about Daniel, that he was a man of excellence. And I believe that same anointing is also upon your life. God bless you. Hello, Lisa. Um, the Lord showed me a caterpillar. And, um... And the caterpillar is um, a very good caterpillar. And um, mm -hmm. and then a wild caterpillar is walking outside. He meets um, a butterfly, and the butterfly says that um, you should um, go, you should love the Lord, and you should get baptized. And that's what the caterpillar did. And when he was getting baptized, he was he was in this cocoon, and the cocoon was like him getting baptized. And when he when that that caterpillar came out, it was a beautiful butterfly that was filled with colors, and that um, and because of that other butterfly talking to that that caterpillar, it changed so much, and um, and that that's what you should do. God bless. Hi Lisa, God loves you. I just saw how God showed me this picture of like how you like filled your how you like filthy filthy with mud. And God showed me then how he picks you up and how he throws you in his into his river. 
And I see how like you like dunked into this river. And when you come up, I just see how like God cleaned you. And how like each and every piece of mud that was like on you um, was washed away. And you were like washed clean. And I saw how God like put like a white robe on you. And I felt like um, that you were like made pure. And like God's glory came on you. On you. And um, then I just heard God saying, my daughter, you need to eat my word. And I felt... And I saw like every time you ate God's word, I thought uh, I saw how like God built you up and how He built you up, built your confidence up. Um, he restored your negative thoughts, and I just feel like how you refreshed you. And then I feel like uh, I just heard like God is saying, "My daughter, come and lie with me um, on my green pastures." And God is saying, "When do you spend time with Him, and when do you like?" Um, Come into God's rest. I, uh, I just hear God is saying that he's going to um, give you visions and he's going to give you clear pictures of um, his glory and his visions that he's got for you. God uh, yearns to spend time with you. And I just feel like how God is so proud of you because of the 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 the, the goodness that's inside of you and the light that is placed inside of you. God loves you so much, Lisa. Be blessed. Amen. Fill up the next word is for you. Uh, God is giving you new shoes, new shoes to fulfill. Um, I feel it in your in your family area where you are going to step up as 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 almost like a a, a spiritual leader, and 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 you, God is going to place you in a higher place. You're not used to this area, but it's and it's almost like out of your comfort zone. But God says, "Do not worry, my son." You, I, I will be with you. I will strengthen you. I will give you the right words, and I will give you the the almost like the 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 confidence to stand in these new shoes. The, the, and God is going to give you um, so much to work with in your family, and you're going to see a huge change in your family in your people around you in your relationships because people are going to look up to you and they are just going to draw from you they're going to draw from the honey that's dripping out of your mouth from the honey of God's words that are dripping out of your mouth and that anointing is going to flow into the people around you as you speak to people as you lay hands on them that anointing is going to overflow and it's almost like this ripple effect that that in your family in the people around you that you have relationships they are going to change and they are going to draw from you in that area where, where where God is going to speak to you. And there's definitely a prophetic anointing upon your life too, in dreams and visions. And that is how God is going to speak to you. And and when you dream about someone or have a vision about someone, tell them about that. Don't feel shy. Don't think no, but that is that is just silly. God is going to move in your life and that is going to move through people's lives. Be blessed. Philip. Sorry. Okay, Philip. Um, okay, I just hear God is saying that he's so very proud of you. And I just see how God is like saying he's going to give you favor. He's, and then I feel like God is saying, I've come to restore your joy in your life. I feel like the enemy has taken the joy that you had and he's um, giving you new joy. And I just feel like God is saying that, that, um, it feels sometimes like that you don't have enough um, finances or love or whatever supply that you need. And I see, just see how God is saying that he's going to supply in all your needs, your finances, in your ministry, in your uh, family, 